You're attempting to do uh, conduction system pacing, whether it's uh, left bundle or hiss. One of the problems encountered is to get the pacing catheter, usually the C315 hiss from Medtronic into a good position, a uh, good stable position. Um, by using a long sheath in a stabilizing wire, I think this, so this uh, problem uh, can be improved greatly. So the, the way this is done is you take a long curved sheath, typically the whirly sheath, um, and you cut it off and then take an 11 French sheath um, and force fit the short section, the 11 French sheath over the whirly sheath. Uh, and then uh, you take the whirly sheath and you put it into the right ventricular outflow tract uh, over a glide wire so that the tip of the shortened whirly sheath uh, is on the RV septum. Once you get to this point, uh, then you advance the Medtronic C315 Hiss catheter uh, through the sheath until the tip of the sheath until the tip of the Medtronic catheter reaches the tip of the sheath. And again, this is beside the glide wire. Uh, once you get to that point, then the uh, sheath is withdrawn, uh, which places the tip of the, of the Hiss catheter, Hiss pacing catheter, right in the area of interest. Um, and the sheath is back here and remains stabilized uh, with the support wire. The, and so what we have here is you have the tip of the C315 uh, coming out of the sheath, uh, and inside that is a pacing lead. You can then advance the pacing lead in and screw it in place as illustrated here. And the sheath stays back here. This is the 3115, 315 Hisk sheath pacing catheter, and then the 83830 lead um, which can then is stable and can be uh, screwed into position. Um, so here you again, you have the shortened whirly sheath, the, the 15, 315 his catheter, and then the 3830 pacing lead. One of the nice parts about this is that when you go to remove the uh, 315 his, uh, oftentimes the curve uh, causes dislodgement of the lead as it goes through the atrium. Uh, when you're using a long sheath, the 315 hiss is pulled into the sheath and straightened out uh, as it is withdrawn. Once you have the C315 removed, um, is sliced away, the sheath is backed out until the hub of the 11 French sheath reaches the IS-1 connector on the 3830 lead. To prevent air embolism, an assistant squeezes the walls of the sheath against the pacing lead and the 11 French section is cracked and peeled away. That relieves the, the cut edge of the whirly sheath, which you then uh, secure a piece of it with a small hemostat and then use the slicing tool to remove um, the rest of the sheath. And with that, you then have the lead in place in a stable position. And you get this type of nice narrow QRS. Hope this is helpful.